Imagine you're asleep and you're awakened by a sudden noise, a soft thump from another room. Your brain immediately begins constructing a reality around that sound. You begin imagining. It could be an intruder, a family member, or something falling due to wind. Your emotional response will depend on which scenario your brain leans toward. If you believe it's an intruder, fear may dominate. The thing is that your brain, even if we don't have any damage or disorders, tends to seek out information that confirms its initial interpretation. That means it may construct our realities, and sometimes the construction gets more real than the reality for some people with certain conditions. The book, Phantoms in the Brain, Probing the Mysteries of the Human Mind, written by neuroscientist V.S. Ramachandran and co-author Sandra Blakesley, published in 1998, weaves together a variety of case studies puzzling neurological disorders. Looking at the 426 rating out of five in Goodreads, we can still feel its relevance. Here are some of the mind-blowing disorders examined on the book, Phantom Limb Syndrome. People who have lost a limb sometimes continue to feel the presence of the missing part, experiencing even pain, as if it still exists. The mirror therapy was first proposed by the author of the book to help these patients. There is a mirror box with a mirror in the center, allowing the hands to be placed on either side of the mirror. The affected limb is always covered while the unaffected limb is placed on the other side so its reflection can be seen on the mirror. In this treatment, a person gets to feel like a missing body part is moving normally by using a mirror. The mirror shows the reflection of the healthy body part, making it look like the missing one is there and moving. This helps the brain make sense of and adjust to the different signals it's getting about where the body part is. Capgra delusion is a disorder in which a person believes that a close friend or family member has been replaced by an imposter. Since there is no standard treatment for those people yet, the discussion delves into how recognition and emotional response are processed in the brain. Blindsight is the ability to respond to visual stimuli without consciously perceiving them. Even some clinically blind individuals can unconsciously respond to visual information, indicating a separation between brain perception and awareness. Despite damage to the primary visual cortex preventing conscious image recognition, other parts of the visual system still process the visual information in these individuals. Anosognosia is a condition where individuals are unaware of their own disabilities, such as paralysis, offering insights into self-awareness and denial. That is an interesting topic to think of how our brain makes us perceive ourselves. Apotemnophilia is when a person desires the amputation of a healthy limb. This disorder prompts discussions regarding body image and the neural representation of our physical selves. These and other cases are used in the book called Phantoms in the Brain to delve into broader questions about consciousness, self, and how the brain constructs our realities between the physical brain and the intangible mind.